Hey, good Monday morning, my friends. I'm Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa here with the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. And are we done with frost? I'll let you off the hook quickly. No, we are not done with frost. We have another little cold burst. Uh, let's call it Tuesday night, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, but then you'll see things turn around very quickly. And we do have a couple of nice days. We have a very nice day uh, on the way today on average. Remember, our normal high is now upper 50s. So when we talk low 60s, it's warmer than normal. Sometimes we lose uh, track of that. So let's get on into it. It was a cold morning. This is about when you had your uh, low temperatures. Hey, good morning, Antanasio Alcamo, thanks for watching. Ed Searlock, good morning to you. And Susan Pendergrass from Sunny Holland, good morning. And also Renee Ritz, thanks for watching. So these were the temperatures at about 7 in the morning. Uh, the icebox of, maybe we better call it the icebox of Lower Michigan. I don't know what the, the sign officially says. It's been a few years since I've seen it. Do you know what city I'm talking about? The ice box of Lower Michigan, Pelston. Down to 21 or 22 this morning. A lot of places down below the freezing mark. Ann Arbor down to about 32, it looks like. Uh, and the southwest corner, Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo, looks like you stayed a few degrees above freezing. Okay, so now our favored model here, European model. And what you're seeing is, so let me go back to the initialization so you can kind of pick out things. So initialization is the starting conditions. We call it the zero hour forecast. It's not a forecast. It's the start of the picture. And there you can see, um, you know, you can see Michigan uh, sticks out. Uh, Florida, Texas always stick out to me as far as the lines. So what you're seeing is the upper level temperatures. And then as we go forward, you're going to see the areas of precip, too, and the pressure lines. And what you'll notice is today the winds pick up out of the southwest. So this is the time of the year when we warm up, it's windy, and when we turn colder, it's windy. It's just the temperature differential between the ground, the dark ground that's drying out and heating up on a sunny day, and the Great Lakes that are staying cold waters. That temperature differential makes a wind season here in Michigan. So this is tonight. Tomorrow morning we'll look at this a little bit closer. So we got some light showers tonight and then we've got a secondary cold front tomorrow night with a round of showers or even a thunder shower and that's why we still have frost on the way. Now Wednesday morning might be a little bit too windy for a frost probably but northern sections could even drop below freezing and then Wednesday's a Pretty cold day, and Thursday morning is a quiet, calm morning. So Thursday morning will likely have frost and or freezing temperatures. I'll show that to you in just a moment. And then we start to make that jump that I've talked about. Note the storm track jumps north, at least for the time being, up into uh, Minnesota, southern Canada. So as we get into the weekend, we're in a full southwesterly flow. Trace that back to the southwest through Illinois, through Missouri, through Oklahoma, through Texas, off the Gulf of Mexico. So, and typically a cold front will crash through and end this party, and the models don't have it. But this is a good model, and it shows a lot of reasons why we would stay on the mild side. Now we're into April 30th, and as we take this one out, 10 days out to May 2nd, a full southwesterly flow and looking very good. Now remember, this is one key important point when we look out long term is, is that we have two ways to look at a good model like the European. We have the deterministic mode. That is one set of initial conditions and we run that out. And that can be wrong, especially as you get out to 7, 8, 9, 10 days. Then we take that, I don't take it, but the modelers take it, and they run 50 different iterations of beginning setting circumstances, and they average those. 
Now, at eight, nine, 10 days out, if that ensemble mode says much warmer than normal, you know that the majority of the 50 iterations say that, and it's a pretty good chance it's gonna happen. And that's what is going on here, is that the deterministic mode looks very warm, could be off, but then when we put in the ensemble mode, it also looks quite warm, about 10 degrees uh, warmer than normal by the time we get to early May, and that would say temperatures 70 or so, something like that. All right, now jump back. Hey, good morning there, uh, Carol Northley from Clinton, and um, Stacy Nag Omer on Saturday, Standish area. Uh, looks mild, but it could be showery. Looks warm, I guess I would say. So here's today. Today's a great day, dry day. Tonight, middle of the night, light rain showers, a couple of hours in any one spot. Probably less than two tenths of an inch, probably in a tenth of an inch. Tuesday afternoon, four, five, six, seven, eight. The secondary cold front comes through. After that, oh, what is that? Wednesday morning, yeah, some snow showers possible on early Wednesday morning and then drying out, clearing up. So today, a nice day. Let's call it 60 to 63 for almost everybody in Michigan. Um, you know, right on the water, obviously a lot colder, right up at a Great Lakes beach. Tomorrow, again, low 60s a lot of places. Wednesday, northeast wind, so the thumb, you are bundled up in a winter coat with a northeast wind at 20 and temperatures in the 30s. And Carroll, you're bundled up in a coat. And Flint, you're still in a coat. And Saginaw Bay City, Midland, and then you get to Lansing and it's, it's chilly. You're in a coat and you get to Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, and it's okay by afternoon, low 50s. Thursday, jump back to the 50s and places. Uh, Friday, back to the low to mid 60s. Saturday, mm, 70s, uh, probably. If we get into a southwest wind, the air is there for uh, easily in the 70s, but we'll hold off on saying that it's going to be 70s for another day or two. Sunday, oh, could we have a nice warm weekend? Monday in the low 70s, and Tuesday in the 60s. Remember Wednesday, it showed the warmth building to the west. Well, we'd be in the 60s. You see 70s and 80s starting to build to the west. So again, I would say still more days warmer than normal than colder than normal. But Frost on the way again, not tomorrow morning, we're in the 40s. Wednesday morning, probably freezing temperatures in the north with a wind, north half of the state, south half wind and cold, then the winds die. So Thursday morning is the morning where you would call this a hard freeze in places like Flint and Oakland County and Livingston County and Lansing and Saginaw, Bay City, Midland, um, even Grand Rapids, you know, probably would have some hard freeze areas. So Thursday looks cold. Friday a little iffy. Still, sometimes if the cold air doesn't scour out on, say, Thursday, you'd have some spots that would drop to frosty conditions, mostly northeast, and the cold spots in the thumb, the cold spots around Ann Arbor. And then, and then would we be done with frost? Mm, probably the southern... Probably the southern half of the state would be done with frost after this Friday. Um, I wouldn't really go crazy on planting big rows of tomatoes, but I wouldn't be scared to sneak in uh, four tomatoes and four peppers because uh, you could always cover them. Now, remember I told you about the deterministic mode versus the ensemble mode and how important that is to understand. What we're going to look at now is the ensemble mode, so the more stable mode of the forecast extended. It's going to go out about 10 days, I would say, and you're going to see the surface temperature anomaly. So how far, how much colder than normal 
warmer than normal or near normal, the temperatures are going to be at the surface. And what you're going to see from this ensemble is that toward the end of it, as we go into Mar uh, May, uh, we're looking for uh, pretty warm temperatures compared to normal, about 5 to 10 degrees warmer than normal. So here we are. And, uh, you know, today and tomorrow are a little warmer than normal. Then there's that cold spell, Wednesday, Thursday, and even Friday morning. And then we eradicate that cold spell. And this is the weekend. So what does that say? That says it's about 5 degrees warmer than normal Celsius. I always double that to convert it uh, to convert it to Fahrenheit. So we'd be about 10 degrees warmer than normal this weekend, which would put us, you know, in the upper 60s to 70s, depending on sunshine and whatnot. This is Sunday, warmer than normal. This is April 30th. This is next Wednesday, May 1st. This is May 2nd. I'm targeting May 2nd as kind of a, the warm uh, spot. 10 degrees warmer than normal. Uh, so you're in the 70s there. This is Friday, May 3rd. This is Saturday, Sunday, May 5th. Uh, Monday, May 6th. You know, and if you, we put together seven days of warmer than normal conditions, then it's probably pretty hard to go back to a frost because the ground will have warmed up considerably. The Great Lakes uh, in that first week of May could probably warm up 5 or 10 degrees, you know, maybe getting into the 50s. Then you're starting to work against Mother Nature being able to frost because it would have to be really, really cold air, and there's no signs of that in the uh, first uh, couple of weeks of Mar uh, May. <laughs> I keep wanting to say March. Let's not go back there, right? All right, so there you have it. Beautiful day today. today. Some showers tonight. Maybe a round of showers late tomorrow, but not too bad. Cold Wednesday and freezing temperatures Thursday. And right now, the weekend, looking like it could be a whole lot different than this past weekend when it was pretty cold. Hey, thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. This MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. And you have yourselves a great Monday. Take care, folks. Bye.